What's up, YouTube land? Last Disbelief here, and I understand that I told y'all um, there would be no videos over the summer, just maybe a couple YouTube shorts here and there, but um, I have found some time to myself outside of where I usually record, so this is kind of my home studio, so um, I don't usually record here, so you notice the background is different, and I actually have the box. Yeah, I you'll actually be able to see the box today. So let's scoot this over a little bit and get it more centered. So, um, yeah. So, taking a look at the packaging real quick. Um, you got the RX-78 II, which this is the revive version that we're doing. Um, I've got a couple more mobile suits that'll be reviewed, but um, you can tell that by the blue Bandai symbol you got right here. And not red. Um, on the bottom of the box, you've got your... Um, product shots, so, just adjust the camera, so you got that, um, everything you get in here, this is actually a different picture than what's on the top of the box, I noticed that this is the 191st, um, mobile suit in the revive line, so, you got that, you got the top of the box, warnings, labels, gunpla, high grade, and you got the same image on the side, so, I'm also going to be doing a, um, uh, what is, uh, box and instruction show off where I show off all the boxes from, um, all the model kits I've ever built, as well as the instructions from those. Because I know I haven't really done boxes at all, so. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to go ahead and bring the RX-78 II in here and take a look at what we think. So, here we are, and there's the RX-78 II um, with minimal panel lining. I've gone through and I've cleaned up a lot. Um, so, you have that. Um, but, taking a look at the figure right here, we'll go ahead and rip them in half. So, that way we can get a closer look at each part. So you got the front, and I know the neck panel lining in too well around here, um, that didn't go quite how I expected it to, um, so you have that, um, a lot of it's a little messy, but I'm, all I'm using is a sharpie there, so, you got some panel lining in there, I'm not quite sure how well easy it is to detect, so, you got that, um, the yellow beefin sticker here is it, 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 it's a sticker you can paint it if you want to I don't have yellow paints yet that's why the lupus rex's nails have yet to been be painted plus I need to get a update on that figure but um he does have a clip for the bazooka and I didn't mean to have that in there I meant to have the non version so I guess you already got a little sneak peek of that so yeah not really a whole lot and panel lines here are amazing like um there's a, there's a decent amount of panel lining opportunity here um but seam lines there are pretty much none that don't make themselves look like um panel lines so we're gonna raise the camera and then we'll get on to the Um, the weapons and accessories that come with them. That's what I was looking for. Accessories you get in this include both the hyper bazooka, beam rifle, shield, three extra hands, a clip for the bazooka, and two beam saber effect parts. We'll go over how all these store as well as attach onto Gundam. But that's pretty much the overview right there. So, to start off, you got three different sets of hands. You got one trigger finger hand. You get two open hands, but one is currently on Gundam. Focus here. There we go. You get one open hand, two open hands, and then you get one closed fist. 
camera to focus. There we go. So yeah, um, those go in the normal way. Take the fist out or hand out. Plug it back in. And there you go. So you have that. Now we'll go ahead and start with the shield since it's right there. You got your shield, pretty decent on the front. Lots of molded detail and panel lining on the back. So you got two different ways of plugging this and we'll go ahead and take off his arm to make this easier. So let's go ahead and get our fist. Okay, so you can either just A, you got that port right there and you got that peg. Plug it on like that and it doesn't fall. Or you can have him hold the shield, which is a little more tricky. So what you want to do is you got your handle. We'll put it down there and make things easier. You got your handle there, actually. Okay, now that we got that, let's see if I can get the camera. There we go. Okay, you're going to want to split your fist. Okay, take it, put it on the handle, and then slide the hand cover over it. I know I'm not getting this on camera very well. Just like so. Okay, then you'll just take it, plug it, the fist into the arm, plug it into the arm, and there you go. Now he's actually holding it. So, you have those options for the shield. Okay. The beam rifle, the beam rifle is a little different in some aspects. It equips just the same, though. Other than the fact that on this, let's see if I can get the camera to work. You got a trigger hand, finger, trigger holder. Let's see, there we go. Ah, uh, my camera's not going to focus. So, you take your trigger finger hand, okay, carefully pry it apart so you don't break the trigger finger. Plug it onto the hand. Put the cover, the other finger on, and there you go. That is a separate piece in there, not a sticker. Um, so... And then you do everything the same way. You do the same thing with the bazooka. I'm not going to go into details on that due to the fact that it's the same process. And why go through everything if it's the same process? So, there you have that. Now, if you've never built a gun, uh, Gundam before, most of them come with beam sabers. And most of them, if they came out before a certain period, have effect parts that you just... Plug into the handle, like so. Get the camera to. Thank you. And you just take it, you put it in your holding hand, and there you go. You have that. Now, if you've never built one before, be careful with these. They will break easily. So, now you have one more accessory. The bazooka clip. This is specifically designed for the bazooka only, okay? Just plugs in there, take him, turn him around, move that off the butt, and then just plug it in there, so he can now hold the bazooka. The shield stores in there as well. We'll go ahead and just take that hand off. You'll just take the shield, you got a port in the backpack, just plug it in there, and there you go. There you have that. So, now that we have that, I think it's time to go on to articulation. So if you'll give me a minute, we will be back with articulation. Something I did forget to mention, this backpack is on your standard two-peg, um... 
two peg high grade backpack. So if you have any other high grade backpacks lying around, um, you can use those. My Strike Freedom is currently undergoing some changes, but I do have its just the backpack without the wings on it. I'm working on changing a bit of it. And you'll see that here in a minute. But yeah. Time for articulation. So little difficult. Okay. Let's see if I can raise the camera first. Okay, so your head, and again we're gonna have to go split them in half. Your head, you got your it's on double ball joint, so it looks up that far. Down that far. You get a full 360. And some giggity 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 to goo. You've got your shoulders, which extend out that far at where the shoulder goes into the chest. As well as another extending shoulder joint there. So you get lots of upwards. On a ball joint there, you can do a full 360, get somewhat of a butterfly joint. I cannot let that pop out. Kinda, a little bit, not really. Bicep swivel. And double jointed elbows with ball jointed wrists. Now, this part I do have to show off on the legs or else you really don't get the effect for it. He does have an ab crunch. A really good ab crunch. Better than some other mobile suits that I've built. So you do have that, as well as side to side. Okay. Front skirts move forward, all the way up. Side skirts move out and around. Legs forward up that far, but skirts don't move, so you only get that far back. Good outward range, and you also have shifting legs. Bicep rotation. Double jointed knees. Now you've got two spots on the ankle here. You've got your see if I can get this yeah. you got your one where it connects to the leg and where it connects to the foot so you get that far back and that far forward you do have a movable ankle guard as well as tilt so let's see how much forward you get you get that much forward that much backwards Inside to side. So yeah, um, that's basically it on your um, high grade RX seventy eight two revive version. Um, so when we come back, we'll do one size comparison due to the fact that it's the only one that's actually available to do a size comparison. Alrighty, now that we're back for size comparisons, here he is next to the current. Custom I'm working on. This is my first official custom, but this is the last Disbelief Gundam. This will be. This was the Strike Freedom. Um, I'm going to be getting the Gundam Helios at some point, and I'm going to be using those extra parts to change a lot on him to make him different, but it, right now, this is the last Disbelief Gundam. There is no more Strike Freedom until I can get a new one. So. There you have that. And just because it's another robot, here you have it next to your standard Decepticon. Voyager class. Let me get him to stand. And, yeah. That's pretty accurate from what I've heard. Um, so... There you have your RX-78-2 Revive. Um, it is compatible with any action base. I believe this is the action base 2. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but this one's just the clip that just slides in there. Just kind of hangs out. Stands pretty well on it. So, I mean, there you have that. So, yeah. Um, I will be doing a re review of the current Bale Gundam, which is here. Um, I have changed something on him already. If you'll notice, he has the Barbatos's tail blade. I will be doing an original review with the original backpack. Here's the wings to it. So. Box of extra parts. So, yeah. That would be it for your, um, high-grade RX-78-2 Gundam Revive. Um... So, if you enjoyed what you see and want to see more, please subscribe, like the video, comment your opinion, and share. And if you have any other questions, email me at lastdisbeliefcatzilla at gmail.com. I will also put a link in the bio to that email, and yeah, I believe that's it. So, Last Disbelief, signing off.